This is the plaintiff, Renee Sims. She says she decorated the wedding hall for the defendant's wedding. And when the woman returned from her honeymoon, she informed her that the guests weren't happy with the reception. She was sorry to hear that, but she wasn't the wedding coordinator. She was just the decorator. She's here today suing because the woman still owes her money for the services she provided. The defendant's refusing to pay. That's why she's suing for the $300 she still owed. This is the defendant, Desiree St. Louis Cummings. She says the plaintiff is the wedding coordinator, and all this baloney about her being just a decorator is a bunch of nonsense. That's right, the woman did a miserable job. She wasn't even present at the reception, and she has no idea how bad it was. And she refuses to pay her the 300 bucks she's seeking because she didn't even get what she paid for. She's accused of walking out on a wedding planner. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $509.07 for missing decor and other costs. All parties, please your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff decorated the defendant's reception wedding hall and didn't get paid. But the defendant says, the plaintiff did a crappy job. It's the case of your centerpieces are pieces of you know what. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Renee Sims, uh, you are suing on behalf of your company, Ms. Desiree St. Louis Cummings. For $300, you say she still owes you on a contract to be her wedding event planner. You're counterclaiming against her. You not only don't want to pay that three-something, but you also feel like she owes you money, $509.07, for various items that you say were stolen during your wedding. Okay, talk to me. About a year prior to her wedding, she started talking to me about she was getting married. She wanted me to decorate. I was not hired as a wedding coordinator. As a decorator, somebody else was supposed to be her coordinator. What were you supposed to be? I was supposed to decorate. I'm sorry, so what were I was were supposed you? to be decorating. You are supposed hall. to be decorating. Originally, she wanted to use glassware. And she, we was going to break down and set up. But I talked her out of the glassware. We used paper products. So everything was to go in the garbage. So what were you hired to do, though? To decorate. To decorate. And that means what? How much are you getting paid? Do you have a contract? Seventeen fifty, yes. Okay, so seventeen fifty, you were going to get paid to decorate, and then she had to pay for the decorations, or that included the decorations. She paid for all the rec decorations. She ordered everything. So literally, what were everything. you doing then? Decorating three different halls. So she bought the decorations. Mm -hmm. Then she gave them to you, and then you would put them on the tables. Yeah, I have six other people who help me. To, do, to decorate pay tables? $10 an hour. Okay, so go on. That's it. That's what okay, she Okay, may bought. I see your contracts? So all you got paid to do is put things on a table and take them up. You had to put them out. I also did the buffet. I bought what the does stuff. did the buffet mean? I, put, I bought the chafing racks. I set up the table. I also did the, the favor room and the candy buffet. Okay, so okay. here's your contract. The purchaser seeks to hire, and it has your corporate name, as a primary event planner. That is checked by you. What's an event planner? Uh, well, to plan her wedding, but she did everything herself. But you got paid to, to be the event she planner. She didn't pay me for that. What's the problem? There, she doesn't want to pay you because things went wrong, and your answer is, I'm not Nothing responsible for doing anything except for setting up and, and taking down. But I'm looking at your contract, and that's not what it says. It has in writing, wedding setup and breakdown of all decorations at church and community hall, all labor, one candy buffet, only charged per candy. I only charged her $300 for the candy buffet. I just told her to pay for the candy. I'll set it up for her. So the six people who were there, were they the bartenders? Were they the people serving? Were uh, they? My people were only supposed to help me set up, decorate, put the stuff out. So then you left they, the wedding and then you come back no, four hours later when it's over because you don't have any responsibility during the wedding? Oh, I didn't go to the wedding. This is the reception hall. I'm, I'm sorry, you have no responsibility at the reception hall? You just leave and then you come and you pick mm -hmm. up. Exactly. We so tell me what to. you guys did while you were well, there. We were supposed to not do anything, but we ended up But that up doesn't sound food. believable to me because A, you've checked the box that says you're the primary event planner. 
then who's in charge if it's not you and you're the primary well, victim? Well, I thought I was in charge. All right. Now, she, at the end of the day, you were paid up for everything except for $300. $300. Okay. Break down for me where that $300 is from. $300 was from doing her party favors. Okay. All right, so according to you, she owes you $300. $300. And you won't pay her why? What's the problem? By the time the wedding was done, it was so much that, that this lady just did, did crazy. She's talking about, I didn't, okay, she, like you said, she's the event planner. The planning of the wedding, I took care of because I know what I wanted. The planning okay. of the what? The ceremony, the, you mean? The, the whole, like the decor and all that stuff. I did that. No, what is it that you did that was her job? She was not at the, the church. If you're a coordinator, you would at least know how to, you know the setup of the church. You would know at least to have the, the bridal party, how to come down the aisle, like, you know, stuff like that. Right. Okay, so she, even, you were surprised not to see her at the church, yes. according to you. And then yes. what happens? Then what happened is that... This lady here, which is a friend of my daughter, she was not even an invited guest. My daughter must have told her to come by to see her or whatever. And this is the lady that actually saved the day. At well, you should have invited her. Uh, exactly. <laughs> come on I should have paid her. You come on up, please. This lady just took, I mean, she just This is in. where? At the church? At the church. And then at the ceremony, at, when we got to the reception, too, because... Okay, how did you end up in the position of, uh, quote, coordinating, which meant what? What did you do at the church? At the church, the pastor asked me where was the runner, where was the license, where was everything, so we can get things started. I told him, I don't know, because I'm just here because her sister is my best friend, and she was here from out of town and my daughter wanted to see her. So we were only supposed to go to the church only. So when the church stuff fell apart, we found, me and the photographer found the runner. We started the wedding, we aligned them up the best way I knew how, cause I didn't know, cause I- No, but how did you end up lining, like who asked you to line them up and all, do all her, that? Her daughter asked me, could you just take over because the coordinator's not here. Okay, She's, that's what I'm asking. Her so daughter, her daughter said to you, will you please take over the coordinator's not here? So my mother won't have a messed up wedding. Can you okay. please do this for us? And I said, okay. And then, her daughter said, can you come to the to the hall to make sure everything goes smooth? I was like, okay. And then what else went wrong at the wedding that you feel like you shouldn't have to pay? Ultimately, can brides be pleased with anything about a wedding? Of course they can. I mean, it's a special day and yeah. Why do so many brides sue? Um, why do so many brides sue? Yeah. Because they just, they're not content with their own life. Exactly. Can they be pleased ultimately? I think it comes down to thankfulness and, and the quality of their hearts about that. Because there's okay. so many things that people have done for them. You're avoiding the question. Can most brides be pleased? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm not going to badger you. But you, really? <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, going inside the courtroom. She was supposed to make sure we ate. The bride, like my, the thing, she was supposed to make sure the parents ate. She never did. This lady was who brought our food. I have the pictures of what she did. Okay, may I see the picture of what you're talking about? All right, okay. so now what else went wrong in the wedding that you think you okay. shouldn't have to pay her? Um, I asked her to put pictures on the tables. You look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you asked her to put what? Pictures to have like soda for pictures. the guests. Yes. Okay. She had the pictures sitting on the table empty. The whole thing. A couple of people actually took their pictures to the bar to get stuff in it. And we had the discussion before. She said, why do you need pictures? I said, because I don't want the guests when they sit in to eat to be getting up to go get a soda and a soda. She still had the pictures sitting there all night. Just Okay, what else went wrong? I had 20 bottles of champagne. And at the end of the night, two bottles went back home. So at least 10 bottles of the, the, the champagne is unaccounted how, for. How do you know 10 away. bottles are unaccounted for? When, when my, I have my, my girlfriend, when she, they were leaving, they saw the daughters going by with bottles under their jackets until one of my friends thought that we were giving away liquor. They were like, oh, let's go back in. They look like they're giving away liquor. And then the other friend was like, no, they look like they're stealing the liquor. Okay. <laughs> this, it's, it's a whole lot, but you know, like I told her, at the end How of the day... How do you two know each other? Oh, church. 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 <laughs> church. Yes. I've been here 20 years. I don't know how long she's been. Church. Okay. Can I clear some of the liquor stuff up for her? Yeah. She already know we didn't take any of her champagne. My husband dug in the bottom of these 
body size coolers they had to get every bottle out that he could find. Stephanie knows it. Desiree knows it. So, you know, though, with this favor stuff, you agreed beforehand that you would pay her. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. And you just feel that because things went poorly that you shouldn't have to pay her the remaining 300 um, I don't need that, but because of the missing stuff. Right. But you have, you have no evidence that they took the missing stuff. You have a lot of guests walking in and out. You have other people organizing and controlling things um, a lot. Those. And... I mean, I'm sure that you love your family and your guests, but you have one person who gave me an affidavit saying, I saw, I saw one of the daughters with a bottle under her jacket, so I thought, woohoo, they're giving away stuff. So I ran back. That is the affidavit that you submitted for my consideration. Yes. So clear. Yeah, okay. You know, so um, we have a saying in Spanish, okay? Vamos a acabar la fiesta en paz. Let us finish the party in peace. Yes. I just, I, I'm stunned that I'm here over $300 with two people who attend the same church and who know each other. <laughs> That's I'm just stunned. It's just $300. Two women who attend the same. You see each other every Sunday? See each other last Sunday? You see each other next Sunday? And that's the wow, who are you? I'm the husband. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let you sit. <laughs> this is my wedding gift to you. <laughs> okay. Can I just say something, please? Yeah. I didn't go there to overstep no one's toes. I didn't go there to step on Renee's toes. Let me just, I, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm sorry. You've been very helpful, but I, I still want to interrupt you. What, what is your answer to why you didn't at go to the church? Well, prior to us finalizing everything the day before, she didn't need me at the church. She said she, I asked her everything. I asked her she so could So your testimony, stop and listen to me. So your answer for why you didn't show up at the church was she told you not to, right? <laughs> Essentially? When she discussed Yes or no? Is that your answer? Yes. Okay. Did you ever tell her not to show up at the church? No. Okay. Well, I have I to tell you that that alone, stop them. talking. That alone, the way that shook out, where all of a sudden we're grabbing a woman who's not even invited <laughs> and asking her, we need you, or, or invited to the reception, or whatever. we need you to, put, to pull through and do this and do that. And, you know, when, when that doesn't look to me like someone who had another plan. That looks to me like someone who expected you to show up. And your contract calls for you to show up there. So if that contract was changed, I'm going to need proof. Do you have in writing, clearly not through another contract, but a text, or something where she tells you, we don't need you at the church, you don't need to come to the church. Because her testimony is, no judge, I paid for that and I wanted that. Except for I already told her I wasn't going to the church. Why are you telling her you're not because going? Because when we just was discussing the hours to decorate and the in-between time. You know what? That's, no. that's she, I'm not going to make her pay you the additional $300. I'm not going to order her to give anything back either. For the favors I, I don't care. I don't anything. care because you didn't provide the stuff she did pay for. Okay. okay? So, yeah, I'm, I'm calling it even. It was good enough for you then, it's good enough for me now. Thank you, okay. Jesus. Well, zeros on both sides of the courtroom. The plaintiff comes out here with nothing. What, what's your reaction to this? I should do what my first mom said, don't bring the favors to the, to the wedding. That was my first mom when I realized she was trying to get me. Yeah, that's when you realized it? Yeah. I wasn't going to bring the favors. But then I said, no, she better than that. Mm -hmm. Guess not. Okay, all right, head back this way. All right, nothing for you either, nothing for her. How was the wedding? Me. It was beautiful. After the fact, the party itself was great. You wouldn't allow something like that to no. ruin your big day? No, no. I, it, 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 I was looking at it and it was irking me and then I, I was just like, you know what, this is my day. I'm not gonna let all nothing right. mess it up. All right, you know who gets the final word here? He does. Thank God it's over. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Kurt, you know what? The more specific you can be in these wedding contracts, the better. Write down every hors d'oeuvre that you want. Everything that you can possibly write down to be specific will help you. That will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.